Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine video that will show you how you can simply and easily, in fact in the simplest possible manner, create a pickup item object or pickup item blueprint that you can use in your Unreal Engine levels. Now first of all, a small disclaimer, this is going to be really simple and really easy, but at the same time it's going to basically be unusable in this shape and form. I'm going to use something that is a core mechanic that you need to upgrade to your level, your game, your project, and I'm going to explain that in a bit more detail at the end of the video. However, this will work and it will present to you the basics and the easiest way how you can do the same and get that pickup object blueprint in your level in basically a few more minutes that is going to be needed to create something like that. Now, it doesn't need any introduction. The process of picking up items is crucial for so many games, for so many genres, for so many different titles and likely the same applies to you. Now how you can do the same? Now first of all we're going to create the same blueprint, create the static mesh that represents it in the game world or add the static mesh and then go further for the actual mechanic and the blueprint nodes. So of course first of all right click create a blueprint class. We need a simple actor nothing more. We're going to call it very ingeniously and creatively item we're going to save the whole project, save all. And from here on out, we're going to do the actual item modification in the blueprint. And uh, let's see how that goes. Double click on it and we we'll get the viewport for the object or the actor. And we have nothing basically. First of all, we're going to add a component which is a cube. This is going to be a static mesh that represents the object in the game world. We're going to scale it down a bit. And we're going to add a nice material. Let's, be, let's take something metal. Oh, metal gold. Why not? And we have the same material. It's not showing the Unreal Engine needs a bit of time. But we have now the same actual object with the static mesh and the material that will go into the level. This is going to be the thing that we pick up. The next thing we need is to get a collider or collision and we're going to use box collision which fits nightly, snugly around the same box, around the same static mesh and it is the same thing that will be used for the players to interact with. Now with the same box, box collision, we need to go all the way to the details panel, to the bottom and choose events that will trigger it and we are going to use on component begin overlap. Simply click on the white cross, white plus on the green button and it will immediately take you to the events graph. So here is the box collision on component begin overlap and we're going to cast it to the, we're going to actually create a cast node, cast to. Now, because my whole project is a first person blueprint, first person level, I'm going to use the blueprint that cast to the first person character. Here it is. If you have a third person character level, you'll use that or whatever else you're using as your player. We're going to connect other actor to the object. And now we have the simplest, easiest pickup item connection nodes you can imagine. But if we do this, the object, the static mesh will still remain in the game world. That is why we need to destroy it and destroy it utterly. And here it is, destroy actor. And now once the interaction takes place, the actor will be destroyed. Now this right here is the pickup item logic, the pickup item blueprint sequence. However, it does nothing. It will simply make sure that the object we interact with destroys itself and disappears. But for the purpose of testing, we're going to add another magical node. And this one is truly amazing. And it's simple 
print string. Here it is, which will share the message that says object it's picked up. Now this is, as it says here, development only, testing only, it won't present itself in your actual build level. So this is just to show you that everything is working as intended. Now let's try it out in the game. First of all, we're going to compile and then save and then go into the game world. Now here is my player start right here. And I'm going to add the item, that gold cube here. And let's see if it works. First of all, yeah, customary shot. I'm in the game. I can shoot it again. Okay, so the collisions are working, but let's see if the collision are working. Yes, they are. Object picked up, as you saw up in the upper left corner of my viewport. And the object is in my possession, quote unquote, right now. So it's all working and if I go out from the level, it's back here because it's not been destroyed in this playthrough, it's restarted and it's back at the same position. Now in your game, whatever you might be making, this destroy actor should lead to something else, not print string, this is just a test, but to anything like a score counter. For example, let's say you have a running game and you're picking up points, you're picking up coins, you're picking, picking up stars, you're picking up whatever, the destroy actor will take you to your score counter that is presented again in the player viewport, not testing phase, but actual game. Or for example, if you're picking up weapon, ammo, it will simply go into your counter for the ammo you have equipped for your player. The possibilities are endless. The same goes, for example, for picking up items that then present themselves in your arms is a lot more complicated but still the same process can be applied to whatever your needs might be this is the basic setup so you have your viewport you have your static mesh or whatever is the actual object you have your box collision that then takes you to the same sequence of casting to your character first third whatever and destroying the actor once it's picked up otherwise it will remain in the scene even though you did pick it up again quote unquote so there you have it, it's really simple, it's really easy, it's really straightforward, you can do it in literally two minutes, and it's most importantly for all of us beginners, it's something that you can easily figure out in a more complex theoretical manner, let's say it like that. So that's it for this video, thank you so much for sticking all the way through the end, please consider supporting me on a whole range of levels. First of all, the best range, best option is to become my patron supporter and pay a buck per month or more to help me keep these videos going. There are costs, they're not huge, but any, any support really does make a lot of difference. So if you have a buck per month to spare and you want to support me, that would be more than awesome. Link is in the description below. I create YouTube videos, basically my podcast, which is about everything and my Unreal Engine beginner tutorials that help or intend to help people who are just starting out with this software to figure out better and faster. Besides that, there is also my books on Amazon that you can buy. There are also other things that you can do to support me, send me cryptocurrencies and whatnot. But if you don't have money to do that, and most of us don't, please simply subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment or a question if you might have them, and I do my best to try to answer you. That way as well you can see my new videos when they come out and it's almost certainly one new video every Wednesday each week. So there you have it, a lot of things you can do for me, some are paid for, some are free. I will ex really really be happy and grateful for any and all of them. That's all for me, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being the here, thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and of course have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Until my next video, bye bye.